This is the new Florence bass by Sandberg Guitars. And this, and this one too. Let's check them out. lovely people of the internet, welcome to Base the World. My name is Gregor Fries and I'm very happy to introduce a new player to the team, Kai Lemke. Please give him a warm welcome. The Sandberg Florence Base is a double cut short scale with a single humbucker and a special passive electronic that allows you to turn this into a mud bucker with loads of low end. But if you use it with the tone control all the way up, amongst other things, it's also a sweet funk machine. <laughs> Here's a little disclaimer for this video. I'm one of the social media and artist relations guys at Sandberg. That means I'm very much affiliated with the brand. So much in fact that it was me who asked Sandberg to do this. I wasn't much involved when ideas were tested to put this final version together, but it was me who came up with the idea to put the biggest humbucker into a short scale bass shaped like the Florence guitar from Sandberg. And so yeah, I'm a very proud bass daddy. Sandberg offers this bass in two versions. The one you've heard so far in this video is the older body maple neck version, which is aimed more at typical pop and rock players. The second version comes in the exact same design, but both body and neck are made from mahogany, which gives this Florence bass a lot more emphasis on low mids and basses and a soft attack. Of course, as a passive single pickup short scale bass, the tone control is a very important feature to change the vibe and the sound of this bass. This is a normal passive tone control, but if you turn it all the way down and then pull it out, the signal goes through a different capacitor that gets rid of most treble and high mids while giving you a sweet low end bump. Let's hear that. The tone control is rolled all the way down and first we hear this mud bugger like sound and then the normal one with the tone control pushed in. This tone control thing gives the space something really cool and unique. I don't think most people will need it that often, but it's still cool to have. Now let's move finally over to the mahogany version and hear what the tone control sounds like from all the way up to all the way down and then at the end the tone shift again. The neck shape on the Florence bass is the same as on Sandberg's Lionel short-scale basses. It's really slim and comfortable, which is rather untypical in this instrument genre. It's bolted on with four screws, which is also really unusual for Sandberg. The fretboard is made from rosewood and has 20 frets that were leveled by a black machine. The other body basses here come with this great looking aged nickel hardware, the mahogany bass comes with chrome. I like this bass a lot, especially the mahogany version. I mean, they're all great, but this one gives me some feelings. On the other hand, the older body versions are really great at doing this. <laughs> The 
The floor and space is a cool combination of old and new. It definitely has that vintage vibe that you would expect from such a model, but it plays like a super comfortable modern design. Really well done. If you want to try these bases out, check the links in the video description below. There are these three colors and there's also a British racing green one, which looks really red. And that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like, please subscribe to our channel and see you again in a few days with another base video here on Base the World. Bye bye. Base the world.